Hello, I'm Bridget Juno and I was a pole vaulter many years ago. Here to teach you how uh, to do the basics of pole vaulting. So first of all, the way you hold a pole is if you're right-handed, you're gonna hold the end of the pole in your right hand. If you're left-handed, obviously your left hand at the end of the pole. I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna teach you the way I know how to do it. So what you're gonna do is just hold the pole down near your hip with your wrist facing up towards the sky. And then your left hand goes about a forearm length down the pole, okay? And the left hand is really just used as a pivot point. So as I raise the pole, the pole is just gonna rest in that V shape that I've made between my thumb and my forefinger. If your wrist is sort of over the top of the pole, what's going to happen is the pole's going to fall out. So your wrist always has to be facing down with your elbow tucked in. So I'm just going to lift it up to show you like that. Again, if I, if I hold the pole this way, the pole can fall out. Okay, so this is the basic position. You want to make sure that the pole, uh, you don't need it to be dead straight in front of you, it can go across your body diagonally. And that will help you straighten out your shoulders and your hips. If the pole is over here to the side, see how it's turned my body around? We don't want that. So pole comes across very comfortably across your body so that you can be um, straight with your shoulders and your hips. And as you run, you have the freedom to move your shoulders. When you're pole vaulting, you want to try and keep your hands fairly still as you're going down the runway because uh, if you're moving your hands the pole will tip you over and you'll lose balance so you can move your shoulders but try and keep your hands in a fairly stable uh, still position and as you go down the runway uh, you can just practice walking to get started you're just going to lower the pole as you can see the pole pivots on that on that uh, front hand, you're going to bring it in front of your forehead and then straight up in front of it. Okay, this is my protege Blair and we're going to teach him how to do exactly what I just did then. So he's never pole vaulted before, he's never um, had the experience of, of learning how to hold the pole. So this is Blair's first time. Alright, so are you left hand? Or right handed, right -handed. you're right handed, so you're going to put your right hand up towards the end of the pole, um, and your left hand goes a little further down, about one elbow width away. Yep, so Blair's just measuring that up. Okay, so what you want to do, Blair, is you're going to bring this hand down towards your right hip, yep. and the pole's going to be lifted up. So if you could bring that down to your hip. It's a little awkward, all right? And you want to just make sure the pole's resting in that V shape with your hands. Really good, okay. Now your shoulders are pointing a little bit towards the side, so you want to just square them up a little bit. You're gonna raise the, the pole, just relax this hand down here, and the pole is sort of across your body. Do you feel that? I do, yeah. Okay, so now what you want to do, Blair, is just take a few steps forward, and you're gonna lower the pole, by lifting this hand up, yep, goes in front of your forehead, and then both arms go up towards the sky. Yep, perfect, and that's how you hold a pole. Okay, so the first drill I'm going to teach you is a one step drill, and you can do this into a sand pit, or a long jump pit, or you can even just do it on the grass or on the track. Um, but as a beginner, I would suggest that you do it either um, on the grass or on the, in the long jump pit because that's a soft surface to land in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the pole up towards the end. If you're holding a really long pole, I would suggest you don't need to hold it all the way at the top because it becomes too heavy. So if you've got a really, really short light pole like this, it's okay for me to hold it at the top. I'm going to place it in front of my forehead. And I'm going to lift up my left knee. You want to keep your toes pulled back. You want to square up your shoulders. Um, eyes are down, but chin is up. You don't want to have your head pointing down like that. 
So head is in a nice neutral position, eyes are down watching where you're going. I'm going to take one step and jump off the ground, like that. And that's a really, really basic drill. That's very um, easy for me to do because the pole is so short. So the next progression would be to grip higher and higher on the pole and that would force me to jump higher. So I'll do that one more time. Okay, to set myself up, I'm gonna lift that left leg, toes pulled back, relax your shoulders, eyes forward, and going forward into the pit like that. Okay, so the next progression from a one-step drill is a two-step drill. Um, so what we're gonna do is start with the pole about at horizontal, as a right hander you're jumping off your left leg that's your takeoff so I'm going to take two steps and jump off my left leg so the first movement is to bring the pole in, in front of me and then the second one is up towards the sky so I move my hands first and that gets me going hands first into the pit like that 